You two family, do me a favor. Look me in my eyes. Nah, no, don't look away. Look me in my eyes. What do you see? What do you see? Well, whatever you think you see, take that with you as you ponder the predictions of our performance. Because we weren't just playing for bragging rights. Oh, nah. The cash that will be made from this video was on the line, so buckle up. Like and comment on this video and enjoy the show. Yeah, shout out to Wayne's World for coming through. I already know what it is. And it's Wayne's World. Wayne's World, Wayne's World hey. is the only way. What's up, family? It's your boy Wayne, and we are back with a bonus episode of Jumpers for Jesus here with Samara Wright and Trey White. You know what I'm saying? Two elite guards in South Carolina. He's going to college. He's going to the 12th grade. And today we want to do something special, man. Um, the winner, the winner of this King of the Court 1v1v1 will get 50% of the AdSense for this video. Hey, hold on one second. Do y'all see how intense they look? It ain't because they focused on the bread alone. Nah, it's because both of these individuals got beaten and potted in the face by me the first time. And boy, oh boy, how nice would it be to do that to the person that did that to them the first time? at their own crib. <laughs> Let's see how this thing plays out, man. So the format for the game, we're going to nine. Uh, we'll be stopping at three, six, and nine, and each of those places will have a free throw and a scripture to recite. If you miss, it's a point off. Then he get the scripture wrong, it's a point off. My boy right here is gonna be doing James 4 and 10. You know, he's young, so I let him do that for the whole time. Me and Ma got, you know, the three scriptures. He's going to college. I wanted to challenge him cognitively and spiritually, so. That's what we about to do. Y'all ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Let's get it, man. It's showtime. If you look closely, you can see the grimace in my face. I got a grimace in my face because at that moment I realized your boy was out of buckets already. Sheesh. Lord help us. Sheesh. Bruh. Sheesh. Oh, that slip. Bruh. But you know who wasn't out of buckets? That boy Samar was cooking up early. Trey had a bucket as well, but Samar was giving us the business. And led us to the point three where we stopped to do our scriptures and our free throw. Oh. Now for the sake of time, I'll just tell you this. Samar couldn't remember the scripture and he missed the free throw, putting him back at one. I memorized the scripture and was able to recite it, but I missed my free throw, putting Sheesh. me back at one. Trey, <laughs> luckily for Trey, Trey remembered his scripture and he made his free throw which allowed him to keep his points at one. So, all knotted up at one, we went back at it. Good shot. That's tough, boy. With us back at the number three, we had to do everything we did previously again. Samar was first, and again, he forgot his scripture. But this time, he made the free throw, putting him at two. Trey came up next, nailed his scripture, made his free throw as well, let him keep the score at two. And then I got back up. <laughs> got my scripture right, but missed the free throw again, putting me at the score uh, zero. I know y'all. It's tragic. <laughs> Sheesh. And again, we are back at the number three, having to say our scripture and shoot our free throw. 
thankfully this time, Trey gets the scripture right and he makes the free throw, meaning we shouldn't have to do three again, right? Because nobody went down below three. So the next time we'll stop is at six. But next, your boy was up. He knew his scripture. And this time, thankfully, I made the free throw. And the icing on the cake. Samaya got up. He made his free throw. And my boy finally got the scripture. Let's get him up. But from then on, that boy Trey started to get active. Real active. Hey, yo, look at my face, fam. I'm thinking, how the heck this man just hit me with a tween, hang cross, hezzy pull, and only three dribbles? How, fam? How? That boy sauced me up so good, I look like them barbecue chicken nuggets from Wendy's that you get that don't even exist, but he just created them because he was in his founder's bag just now. That boy Trey is nasty, man. Sheesh. That was three? Put a hand in there. Ooh, that's five. Oh. And yes, I know I said I was out of buckets, but I don't really count these. Like the first one on Trey was a extremely slow turnaround pool. And the next one, <laughs> let's just say your boy blessed. But not blessed enough to continue to run because on the next possession, your boy squandered the only potential momentum I would get oh. all game. I can't do nothing for this. Six. So now we at six. And Trey is first up. Gets his scripture right. Still on James 4 and 10. But unfortunately, my boy misses the free throw. Putting him back at 5. Then I get up. Get my scripture right. Romans 8 and 28. But I miss my free throw. Putting me back at 1. Then my goes up. And not knowing Romans 8 and 28. Gets a point off for not knowing the scripture. As well as missing his free throw, putting him at zero. Sheesh! Fired him and all. And yes, we arrived at the number six again, and we're supposed to stop for the scripture and the free throw, but for the sake of time, we kept going. We kept going, and that boy Trey kept killing. That boy is dangerous, man. Hit me with three betweens that made me feel like he took 12 dribbles when it was only three dribbles. Three. Sure. What? Trey. And just like that, with Trey missing his potential game winning bucket, that boy Samara went on the run. That's gonna last for ages. Oh that boy went crazy. Oh. Yo, boy, yo, boy. Oh. Now with my missing, my boy Trey got the opportunity to end the game on his possession. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> this was by far my best attempt to try to stop this young dude. But when I tell you this dude is elite, he is elite. Hey, you got hit free throw. Scripture. Oh. Yeah, nah. It ain't over oh, just God. yet. All right. 
Be home before the Lord and he shall lift you up. That's it. If you miss, I ain't miss. Time to go home. No! No! <laughs> now you're probably wondering, are they about to stop and shoot free throws as well and do the scriptures? We should have. But we were playing all day, family. So your boy got the ball, your boy checked it up, and your boy just went and got a bucket. Because I was tired of doing that. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, for the last point, he got to make free throw in his scripts. Be home before the Lord. Oh, James 4 through 10, be home before the Lord and he shall lift you up. So my boy, get 50% of the ad share for this video. And uh, now, he gets an opportunity to pie us both in the face. Yep. Oh, oh. oh that's no. Bro, however you see fit. Oh. All right, all right, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Hey, hey, he said that's mine, so you gotta. All right, that's good. Yeah, it's a little bit of pain in that one. So, hey, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> it's a little bit of pain in that one. <laughs> right. I don't want to lose anything, too. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Not going to cap. This is good. Ma, where you at? You know, wipe it off. All right, where you at? I got wet towels in there, too. Hey, listen. All right. Trey came with his A game. Last time, I really caught him by surprise, 7 3 them. So, really, he came with some, with some big chips on his shoulder with the bag on the line, bagging rights. So, we won one for real, for real. So, I'm going to have to get him again. You know what I'm saying? Before Ma leave, I don't know how Ma gonna settle it with uh with Trey. The young the young bull really he did his thing today. But hey man, come here. Appreciate y'all pulling up. Yes sir, Rod Scripture, appreciate you pulling up. And uh, until next time, next time I promise you I ain't gonna lose that bad, but uh it is what it is, bro. Peace.